Good morning. How y'all doing today? Welcome to the Anthony Brown Show. I'm yours truly, Mr. Anthony Brown. I don't mean to be sitting here eating your face, but I gotta share this with y'all. Look here. Tell me if this is not heaven sent. I got sausage, French toast, fish, corned beef hash, and some cheese grits. Oh my goodness. This is so good. I was headed out to run some errands and my friend who owns the um, the food truck is a food truck that actually delivered this he was in the area and his wife texted me that she was in the area so I told her well if you could be here in the next 10 minutes I'll get breakfast from you because I haven't eaten and sure enough as I was coming downstairs to get in my vehicle to leave they were pulling up and I tell you hmm I'm not a real big fan of corned beef hash but I, I will eat it but I'm not a really big fan of it Ooh, look at that cheese. It don't make no sense. I know I wanted to discuss with you guys. Interesting observation. Two things, actually. One was, I was following one of my other buddies from YouTube. MJ. Love MJ. You guys got him. Make sure you follow him on um, YouTube and Instagram. MJ. MJ was reading a letter this morning that he got from one of his viewers. <clears throat> it was from one of his one of his viewers that said that her 19 year old son spit in her face and slapped her. And her question to MJ was, what should she do? First of all, sweetie, that's not even been a question. Years old, that's a grown ass man. No man no grown ass man, especially one that live in your house, that you're supporting, you're taking care of, you're paying all the bills. Putting roof over his head, food in his stomach, clothes on his back. Because also in the letter, mind you, it also um, indicated that he didn't work and he was not in school. So he's 19 years old sitting around the house playing video games all day. All this was in the letter. In front of his girlfriend, because you came in and said something to him or disciplining him or correcting him about something he did because he didn't like how you spoke to him in the presence of his girlfriend, he spit in your face and slapped you. You allowed it. Then you called your boyfriend and asked him about the situation. Because you, you and the son had an argument. The son was saying something about the fact that you're rude, you're controlling, you're manipulative, manipulative you're evil. 
all this foolishness. And you call your boyfriend to, to you get a second opinion if what your son was saying was factual. Baby, first of all, you didn't need no validation. You need no confirmation, no assurance. Mm -mm. I'd be damned if you're going to be my child, my son, daughter, whomever, niece, nephew, laying up in my house. And because you didn't like what I said in the presence of your girlfriend, you felt you had the right or the gall to raise your hand and slap me. And then on top of that, spit in my face. And on top of that, after calling her boyfriend, who actually validated and confirmed what the son was saying to be true. Well, if, if two or three more people say that, then there must be some truth to it. Bitch. Wait one goddamn minute. Pardon my French. I don't um, condone violence, but I would have been making that phone, if I was her, I would have been making that phone call from the county jail, from either beating or killing my son for spitting on me and putting his hand on me. That's first of all. Second of all, like MJ said, you had a question yourself. What's going on with you, lady? There's something going on in your home that that your son feels that he has the right to do such a thing. And again, I agree 100% with MJ. This violence didn't start today. I bet you this is not the first time that he's disrespected you. Uh, the first time he said something, put his hand on you. Might be the first time he spit on you, but it's not the first time he's disrespected you or done that. You're ignoring the warning signs one thing I've noticed about a lot of parents these days, you guys are, you guys have a guilt, guilty conscience about your children or towards your children. So you feel, you know, maybe early on in the ch child's life, you wasn't a good parent. So because you wasn't a good parent, you feel you owe them something. Or you're obligated to do whatever, whatever. No. Mm -mm. If you wasn't the best mother you could be at the time that they were growing, I mean, they were born. And let's say for whatever reason, grandma was raising a child. Well, that was your support system. And maybe you were in no situation to be able to be an excellent parent or a good parent to that to that child. So what you did, you placed them in a situation that was conducive for them, for their upbringing, their, their learning, their their their, their um, safety by placing them with grandma. At some point, when you became financially stable or secure in your situation, to be able to raise the kids or do whatever for them, you then took them in. Well, then you then take them in and but but you allow the kids to put a guilt trip on you because you weren't there in the beginning so as a result you you bend over backwards you do more more than that's necessary more than what's required by all means i'm not saying don't do for your children i'm not saying don't spoil your children i'm not saying don't be there for them no but and like in this situation here, where you allow them to disrespect you because you feel, whatever reason, you know, I don't know why she's allowing this, but 
in some situations I've seen kids allow, or parents allow this, this foolishness, or as we say, this fuckery to take place because they feel guilty or obligated to this child. Like I said, uh-uh. I agree totally, 100% with MJ. If you guys want to hear the entire letter in its entirety, go on YouTube and search M. Oh my God, he's gonna kill me. Oh, MJ Harris. Funny guy, brilliant guy, very smart, intelligent. I love him to death. I found him a couple about a month ago. Watching my other buddies, Terrell and Jarius, out of Atlanta. <laughs> Terrell and Jarius are members of the LGBT community. They're um, black gay males that are raising two children. A, a, a boy and a girl. I think they're both two years old. Both kids are two years old. Beautiful, adorable kids. I love Jarius and um, Terrell. I follow, I've been following their channel probably from the beginning. Or maybe not from the beginning, but damn near close to the beginning. Um, They're legally married. They've been featured on um my... um. Wife swap, the TV show Wife Swap, where each wife would go to the other person's house for a day or for a weekend or whatever. Where they were featured on that show, they've been featured on a, a couple other shows. They've done collaborations with with Disney, with Clo Rocks, with um, I think it was Yukon or Honda. Um, so very successful black males doing their thing out of Atlanta, Georgia. So proud of them, love them. Very inspirational, very influential. Making a name for themselves in Georgia, as well as in the LGBT community. Um, they're originally from, both originally from Louisiana. Very loving environment. And if you see them, see that channel, you would love them just as much as I do. And one could only aspire to be just like them. In the sense that they're both hardworking, beautiful home. Um, three levels, basement, main floor, and upstairs. Big home. And they're in the process, oh, excuse me, of actually looking for a bigger home. They were contemplating on getting another, having another child. MJ Harris, on the other hand, is in California. Um, let me go back. Um, Jarius and Terrell's, their YouTube channel is um, Terrell, T-E-R-R-E-L-L, and Jarius, J-A-R-I-U-S, Terrell and Jarius. So follow them on um, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow their YouTube channel. You get full videos. Um, Instagram, you get a lot of pictures. But MJ Harris, follow him on Instagram as well as, um, <coughs> excuse me, YouTube. And both always on YouTube, you get the, the bigger, longer, extended versions of the videos. Oh, that was good. I didn't think I was going to be able to eat all that breakfast, but my fat ass sat right here and ate all of it. But anyway. Yeah, check out MJ Harris' video. Like I said, this this parent or this mother, 
probably a single mother because like I said, she has a boyfriend. So more than likely the, the child's father is not uh, prevalent in his life or in the home for her to have a, a boyfriend because she called her boyfriend. But for her to have to call somebody to find out if one, the son, if, if what the son was saying was factual to get confirmation, um, she's crazy as hell. I agree with MJ. Put his ass out. That's first and foremost. He's a grown man. He's he's 19 years old. Um, obviously, he's having sex. He's fucking. He's probably fucking in your home while you're at work and the girlfriend's sitting in the house with him. I'm sure he's having sex at, age, at 19. Because if, if he's grown enough to spit on you and slap you, he's having sex. Mm -hmm. In your home. And you're allowing it. That's the crazy part. You're allowing it. Mm -hmm. Put his ass out. One, because... He's disrespected you totally. If you don't feel bad, oh, well, where's he gonna stay? He can stay with that girl since he want to impress her. She should also impress him, take his ass in. So, put him out of your house, like MJ said, and be done with it. Mm -mm. You don't owe him anything. You must have missed the memo in the black community. Black community, the rule is once you turn 18, you get out. <clears throat> See, it's other races that you could be 34 still living at home with mom. Got your degree and everything, still living in the back room. You know, mm -mm. you know, black folks don't don't believe in that. Hell no. I don't know what you thought, what memo you were reading, but sweetie, mm -mm. put his ass out your house first and foremost. Mm-hmm clean house you should be living your best life because he's 19 and i think there's another sibling in the house another child that's a female a girl and i believe she's just graduating i can't remember the the letter exactly but the, i think the other child what it was the mother had cooked dinner left dinner for the brother and sister to to eat when the mother came home, all the food had been consumed by the son and his girlfriend, which means the daughter hadn't eaten. So not only did that happen, which was a no-no, then you left the kitchen and the house in disarray. So either you or the girlfriend didn't even bother to try to clean up. Another no-no. You spit on the mother you slapped the mother. You cursed her out. Usually three strikes you're out. Well, there was five. He's got to go. Period. He must go. No if, and, or buts about it. Hit the door, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And I, as a parent, I wouldn't even feel guilty or sorry about it. Mm-mm. Not at all. Not at all. Mm -mm. You've raised them. Apparently somewhere you've gone wrong in your raising, in your parenting, to allow him to, to treat you that way, then somewhere you went wrong as a parent. Mm-hmm. I'm going to prove that to you. My sister has children, boys and girls. My sister's kids treat her just like your son treat you. On the flip side, all of my nieces and nephews from this particular sister has never cursed at me, raised their hand, spit on me, disrespected me, talked back, any of that utmost respect for me they know I don't have it I'm not playing with it I don't put up with it they have so much respect to me to the point where I've been around my niece and nephews when they were around their friends and when their friends decided to curse use foul language say things that were disrespectful or out of the ordinary they would correct them and say uh, -uh, uh don't talk like that in front of my uncle mm, don't say that my uncle right there so not only did they respect me, 
They made sure that their friends respected me. I'm not your friend. I'm your uncle. I'm a parental figure. I'm an adult. I respect you as a child. And you're going to respect me as an adult. And the sad part is, my nieces and nephews are all grown. All of them. My niece is, this particular niece that I'm talking about, uh, is 35. She still don't curse in front of me. Mm -mm. I know she curse, but not in front of me. Nope. Mm -mm. Like I said, my nieces and nephews don't. Don't disrespect me. So I'm not having it. I don't play the radio. When it comes to, to, to younger people, adults, or children. I'm 51 years old. That's not me. But anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I'm going to stop this video so I can finish doing my run. See, I'm sitting here in my truck and I just finished eating. Oh my God, the food was so good. So now I'm going to um, take off, run. I got to go downtown, do some running around, take care of some business. Do some things, run some errands. Whew. Now I gotta come back and um, edit this video for you guys. Cause I gotta put this video out. Cause I cannot believe what I was hearing on MJ Harris's channel this morning. But make sure you check him out. Um, my channel, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button right there. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? And to get further notices, further information, further videos, make sure you hit the bell right next to subscribe. So hit the subscribe and hit the bell. And if you saw any value or anything interesting in this particular video, give me a thumbs up. So over here, hit the little thumbs up button until it turns blue. I would definitely appreciate that as well. So until next time, thank you for watching The Anthony Brown Show. We're on our road to 5,000 subscribers. I can't do it without you, so also share this video on your social medias so your friends and family can come and see what's going on over here on The Anthony Brown Show. And I love you, and I appreciate you. Until next time, peace.